I'd like the candidates to take their seats, please. Have your name tags, and we've sorted you by region. Okay, you fall over here, man. I think Welcome to the LA32 Neighborhood Council Candidate Forum. My name is Connie Castro, I'm the LA32 LA President. I would like to request for your audience to please place your phone on vibrate. And if any conversations, if you could step outside, please, I'd like to focus the attention today on our candidates. As you all know, the mission of the LA32 Neighborhood Council is to promote more citizen participation in government and make City Hall more responsive to our local needs. It is crucial that we all vote and participate during the upcoming LA32 NC elections on Saturday, April 26, 2014 from 10 to 4. As, re as residents, we all want to preserve and improve the quality of life in our neighborhoods by creating a safe, healthy, and clean environment. And by exercising our vote, we have the power to define our community's positions on public issues and influence our elected officials. Officials on issues such as land use, zoning, health and safety, community development, that affect us locally and citywide. So I would like to first start by thanking all of the candidates for being here. Thank you so much. I'd like to also thank our sponsors, on-site PC Fix-It, El Aguila Bakery, CD14, the Mayor's Office, The Voice, El Torino Historical Society, The Beacon, Holy Grounds, Our Town, and LAPD. Thank you all for allowing us the opportunity to work together. And this is the type of event that together we can make it happen and we can make a great community. Thank you. I'd also like to thank uh, Yoli Garcia. Where is she? Thank you, Yoli. She's been working really high behind the scenes. And the election committee, who the members are not all here, but I'd like to thank, thank them. And all of the community for doing outreach that has helped me. Empower LA Council to Councils and our moderator tonight, Elisa Smith. <laughs> so, um, with that said, I would like to hang, hand over the microphone to her. So she is our moderator for tonight. And so, with that, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, Connie. Um, thank you also for welcoming welcoming me. I wasn't expecting the food and um, to be so have everyone so readily prepared. And actually, the one thing I'm looking at is to see if we've got the um, timer going. And it's, it's, do we have it all going and good? And you're okay with? You know, but we'll we'll try. We'll check it out. We'll try and. Um, 
And then uh, if it doesn't work, we'll use my phone and Eddie also will be helping. Um, so I'm not your IEA, however I am one of the independent election administrators um, for the neighborhood councils. My region actually includes Jay's neighborhood council, so he's there on the west side because it's his neighborhood council meeting tonight. And I told him I'd be happy to fill in with him. I'm somewhat familiar. I'm a resident with Northeast LA, so I'm adjacent, just a little bit more west of here. Um, and I've been involved with the neighborhood council since 2001 with the Glassell Park Neighborhood Council. I served on the board for six years. Um, and I've been an IEA for in 2012, and now this time also a poll manager. And I know how difficult, and talking to Connie, I know she, uh, you know, she said she's learned more than she ever thought she would in the last couple of years. And absolutely, there's no job like this on the planet. So thank you again for your service. Thank you. And thank you for your commitment to um, to want to improve your community and work on the issues. And I know sometimes things can be really difficult. There's a couple of things when I do my candidate trainings, I remind everyone that love is given. Power can actually only be taken. No one gives you the power to be a neighborhood council. You have to earn it and take, the, take advantage of the opportunities there. And then this neighborhood council system is the largest grassroots democratic system in the world, and we have people watching us from all over the world. I don't know if you're aware of that at all, but in, um, in the valley, I bumped into the contingency from Mongolia. So China, Africa, people, they're sending, the cities are sending people to watch our neighborhood council system. And we have, with this, we have a responsibility, and it's the burden of responsibility. And that is part of, um, I think it's really important that we all learn to carry ourselves how we aspire to be. To keep the dream alive of what it means for grassroots democratic participation. And when we have issues, we have to remember that one day we might be sitting on one side of the fence with someone, and the next day we might be sitting on the other side of the fence with someone. So I've learned never to burn any bridges. The water keeps on flowing under them. Um, people come because they're passionate, because they really care about what's going on in their community, and that passion is because they love their community. So I want to thank you all again for being here, for being candidates, and I want to thank the community members for being here. And we are going to, um, I'm, I have my rules, and we're going to go by them. Um, we're going to start the timer. You'll have a minute and a half to introduce yourself, tell us your name, which seat you're running for, and then you have a minute and a half. When it goes off, I will say thank you, and please just stop talking then. And the reason why we have rules is so that they're fair for everybody. And then we'll have the questions. People have actually been giving us a lot of questions, so we'll go through the questions. It'll be addressed to all of you, and you'll each have 30 seconds to respond to the question. Then we'll break, and then if there's any one-on-one -on -one dialogues you want to have afterwards, that will just happen after the um, forum is over. Does everyone understand? Everyone okay? Okay. So, are we? We'll start with it. We're going to start with the timer. So, what I usually do is I say to them when you're ready, and they start speaking, and then I start the timer. Okay. All right, and I'm going to. All right, which end of the table? Are you ready? Okay, so let's start with Capricia. Hello, my name is Capricia Baezio. I am running for the West representative. I am running because I have an interest in the community. I live in this community. I raise my children in this community. I am a, by, by profession, I'm a licensed attorney. Uh, licensed practicing attorney in the state of California. I also have experience in, in, in learning about cities and knowing about cities. I hold a master's in public administration from Cornell University, uh, focused on policy and uh, public administration. 
But more importantly, I have a daughter that attends El Sereno Early, Early Education Center. And when I walk my daughter to school every morning, I would like my community to be safe. I do not want to see trash on the streets. I do not want to see graffiti. I want to feel comfortable living, walking in my community. I also have a daughter that, uh, my other daughter, um, she plays sports at El Sereno, the, the, the park right across the street. So right now it's baseball season. So I'm, I'm out there pretty much every other day. I'm at the park either doing baseball, basketball, we do swimming as well. I am deeply involved in this community on a day-to-day -day basis. And it is it's my job, my responsibility, and I take it very seriously that I would like to make sure that I empower this neighborhood and that it's all that it can be. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Um, I actually just bought a home in the West region, um, so I saw the newspaper ad and decided to set a way to become involved with the community, and I just decided to run. Um, I let's see, I'm very nervous. Um, I just would like to see this, this community become a, a nicer, cleaner place. That's kind of the initial thing that I saw when I moved here. Is that this place is beautiful. It just needs some, you know, help, and I want to become involved. That's right. Thank you. Okay, so can, we're going to do one thing while he's setting the timer. We're just going to run down the row and just call out your favorite color. Okay? Just blue. 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 Black. Green. Blue. Orange. Blue. 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 Brown. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is George Matagos. Um, I was a previous board member uh, for the last uh, term. Uh, I was born in uh, Hillside Village. I attended uh, Elston Junior High School, Wilson High School. Uh, after graduation, I attended Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, I did uh, work in the uh, private sector for over 10 years. I'm currently an employee for the city of LA as an engineer. Um, I got involved with the community uh, prior to joining the neighborhood council. Uh, I was a volunteer coach at Wilson. I coached the Stallions. Uh, I set up workshops throughout the community. Um, it's always been for me a grassroots effort. Um, it's beneficial that the neighborhood council meets together and we actually have a strong board. Uh, because although this last term didn't seem like, like a success, there are things that did happen. The skate park was open. Uh, the councilman just allocated $350,000 to the Elston Park. And all that was a result of even the dysfunctional board that we had before. So please don't assume that it's broken. It works. So I encourage all the candidates to definitely continue to take that passion and apply it in the most positive way possible. Thank you. I'm going to speak again while he's setting it up. Um, one of the rules is to keep your comments positive. So there's always a positive way to bring up a difficult situation, whether it's a question um, for somebody or a question for ourselves. So. Please keep it positive, okay? When you're ready, just start and we'll start. Hi, my name is Sasha Perez, and I'm currently a student at Cal State Los Angeles. Um, I'm currently involved in my student government. My current focus for the last eight years has been in policy and legislation. That's what I've been working on. And I got involved in the community when I became an intern over at um, Quasar's office, actually, the office over on Hamilton. Um, and I've been interested in improving and helping the community. Um, even before that, I was actually born and raised here. My family moved to Alhambra, then we moved back here. Um, and I just see so much potential here. I see so much potential that this area has, as well as um, the university. And I think by connecting the two and really creating um, a nice relationship between the two, that both of them can grow. And I would like to help in connecting the community with the university and, and all the great things that they both have to offer. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Alfie Rodriguez, and I just want to get back to my community because 
I did a long, a lot wrong here, and now it's time for me to put my foot down and put back what I need to. I, I got to give back. I got to do a lot for the youth. Um, I want to help with the kids that are in need, so they don't end up going off track like I did. Um, I want to be that person that they're going to look up to and say, if he can do it, so can I. I want to be that role model for them. I just want to make everything right because when I was out there, I didn't think about that. But now I am. I'm a different person and I just want to show you. Give me that chance. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Pedroza. I'm running as North Region candidate. Uh, I'm a long-time resident. I live currently uh, on Harriman Avenue. For those of you who are familiar with Francis Tacoles, one point or another, you probably have seen me running in the mornings. Um, for me, it was not my original intention to run a neighborhood council. Uh, I graduated from this university with a degree in history and a degree as well as uh, Chinese history. But when I came back, I wanted to give back to the community that had, been, that had given me and my family so much. So I spent the last year trying to observe different organizations and really see how I can play my part. And when I saw neighborhood council, I determined that it was something that could run effectively, could really make a profound change within the community. And that's why I stand before you today to so hopefully receive your support. My main focus would be twofold: invest in youth programs and at the same time invest in business infrastructure. I would like to really work on some drive as well as Eastern Avenue to really try to bring up their true potentials and work with local business owners, both small and large, in order to really bring up the community because we have a huge potential here. 40,000 in the population. We have one of the largest demographics, 19, uh, 34 year olds, compared to the rest of LA County. We have a huge untapped potential. So I definitely feel an effect here for council we can really bring about some profound change. Yes, thank you. Want to take your seat at the table? Yes. Okay. Um. Hi, uh, my name is Nicholas Carrillo, and I'm running for the North Region representative. Um, I've lived and grown up here in El Sereno. I went to El Sereno Elementary, El Sereno Middle School, and now I'm a student here at uh, Cal State LA. And so one of the things I kind of want to do is to be able to foster the relationships uh, and the connections here in the community with one another. And I believe that fostering the, biz the small businesses, the community organizations with one another and the university can help create a community that we would all love to see, a safe, vibrant, uh, proactive community. And so I'm here to just ensure that every board member and every community organization can be as proactive as possible and that we can change El Sereno for the better. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jessica Alvaranga. I'm a running, I'm a candidate for the North Region. Um, I've lived in El Sereno for approximately 10 years now. Uh, I'm a student at UCLA. I am doing political science and urban regional studies, and I'll be graduating soon and coming back full time to the neighborhood where I've grown, where I've grown up. Um, I've done a lot of things in other communities. I always like to give back. Uh, for example, I started a tutoring program in the Pico Union area, and we extended the program to include a, a Spanish tutoring program for the parents and not just the students. Um, so I've done various things for other communities. But this is a community I'm from, and this is a community I want to give back to. My involvement so far has been with our town. I uh, was involved for approximately two years. But I want to give back to my community and do whatever it is possible to help out. And I think my background in urban planning will be very useful, considering that I myself was once a bus rider in this neighborhood. And I know it needs to be done. And I have both the policy uh, knowledge and the experience um, necessary to know what needs to be changed in us right now. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Alan Prieto, I'm running for the East Region. Um, I've been in the community for a couple of years. Uh, one thing that I've been actually in the community, living for a couple of years, but I've been in the community for a lot longer. I'm Brian here at Paso Street, and I'm in the park, working with the kids and working with the community. Um, what I want to do is just make some, work, work together as a team and make changes together for our streets, for our parks, for the safety of our children. Uh, we work with schools and try to work with the community, just make a little bit of a difference and work with you folks to make a bigger difference to ourselves. 
Better stay safe. Thank you. saying thank you to everybody for showing up. Uh, you guys are showing initiative. It's 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock already. Most of you guys have gone off of work. I myself have just gotten off of work. So it's great to see uh, some, so many community members here uh, helping to make us a better place. So my name is Raymond Diaz. Um, I'm running for the East Region. Uh, I've pretty much lived here for most of my life. I've done a lot of mistakes here, <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of good things. You know, I, I went to the Wilson, I went to Wilson High School. I played football for them for a number of years while I was there. Um, I went out to ELAC, uh, Dweck, that's where I got involved in politics, um, working around the uh, with school administration to kind of bring a lot of the programs uh, that are there still um, uh, to like to uh, East Southern College. Uh, from there, I went to uh, UC Santa Cruz, where um, it was uh, not like night and day. Was, we have more trees over there than they have buildings over here, so it's kind of it was kind of crazy. But over there, I worked in the community, uh, did a lot of uh, with the youth. Uh, currently, right now, I work for a nonprofit. So I have we've, uh, with that nonprofit, we do a lot of grant writing, and so we have a contract in the county right now to work with at-risk male youth. Um, to have, help them graduate and show that there's a life beyond uh, South LA. And I would love to bring all, a lot of that millions and millions of dollars to El Sereno to bring programs like that. Like they said, we have a large contingent of uh, youth here, and I would love to see that grow and make El Sereno the best neighborhood it could be. Thank you. My name is Michelle Corsantes, and I am running for the East Regional Director. I am a full-time volunteer for the LUSD at Cesar Chavez Elementary School. I have a passion for reaching out to school parents and students and being the bridge between the school and the home. I like to be of service to people. Customer service goes a long way because to be of service to one another means that we care for each other. And when we care for one another, it makes situations a little bit easier to work with. I bring my talents and skills to LA32, which are responsibility, dedication, honor, customer service, organizational skills, initiation, and model, modeling for others. The purpose on why I am running for LA32 Neighborhood Council is to reach out to all the schools in our area. LAUSD schools, charter schools, and private schools. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to vote for me on Saturday, April 26th for Michelle Corsantes. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here. My name is Gamaliel Andrade. I'm running for the, for the east side, and uh, I've been living in El Sereno for about 25 years or, or a little bit more. I went to Farmville. Sereno, Wilson, graduated in 95, went to PCC, and uh, felt that I had to leave school because I don't have my parents. You know, we're all struggling, they're still part of that 99%. And uh, my working career started. You know, I've been working for LAUSD for the past 12 years. I'm a cafeteria worker at Farmdale Elementary. So if you have any kids that go there, I'm the one that feeds them, I'm the one that makes sure that, you know, they. they even though the fries don't look good or all that stuff, but they, you know what, they look just like shaky fries, you know, they're, they're like mojo potatoes, you can go ahead and get them, you know? But I make sure that they eat healthy, you know, breakfast and, and their lunch. And the reason that I got involved was, um, the same reason that I got involved with my union, because I decided to say ya basta, you know, wanted to step up, I saw my community, you know, could improve, and it wasn't, so that's when I decided to step up and uh, represent the community. Uh, not my own interest, but again, you know, the interest of the community. You know, safer schools, you know, clean streets. You know, I don't want to be able to walk across the street, you know, looking behind my back just to make sure that nobody's, you know, there. You know, and that's the reality that comes to it, and I just want to help improve my community. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Yes, we're all volunteers here. Okay, when you're ready. 
My name is Adi Ruiz. I'm running for the at-large position here in the City of River Council. Uh, actually, I was involved four years ago uh, with the Neighbor Council as a youth rep. Um, after that, I had the privilege of being appointed by uh, Mayor Antonio Villarregosa to serve on the Commission for Children, Youth, and Their Families. It no longer exists, but over that commission, uh, we oversaw some of the programs that uh, benefit the community, such as the Kids Watch Away program. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Uh, it's a safety program for uh, to get you know, to get kids uh, safe to school within within 500 feet within their the schools. Uh, then later on, I worked to work for uh, LAUSD board member Steve Zimmer. You know, I had the opportunity to work with parents and students in LAUSD. So I'm really excited about coming back to my neighborhood. Um, I might be the youngest one. I hope I'm not, because uh, it's really important for us to be involved. Uh, I've overseen some. I've seen some of the, the work that the neighborhood council has done. Uh, but I think when the term ends, I want to see something that the neighborhood council can point to our community and say that's something that we have done. And so far, it hasn't hasn't happened very often. So I'm looking forward to getting things done for real this time. Thank you very much.
lot of the people that are here in this room know who I am. I'm at all the cleanups, I'm at all the council members' uh, events. City Hall, I worked for the school district for 25 years. I have two children. I was born and raised here. I'm 47 years old as of this past Saturday. Nothing that I do and nothing that I cherish more is to come to my community and help show my efforts 100%. I will be here tomorrow for the Senior Center. I am involved with the Tender Loving Covers, which is one of our small organizations, a project here in El Sereno. Um, I know all of my colleagues here that I work with, and I look forward to working with everyone again. Thank you. Thank you. Term. I got um, voted in at the end of uh, last year, so I really haven't done a lot with, uh, with LA32. Um, I'm also a volunteer for um, Tender Loving Covers, which um, Cynthia explained. I also volunteer at school at um, uh, Cesar Chavez Elementary. Um, I volunteered for 20 years at um, Sierra Park Elementary. Um, I just love working with the community. Community. Um, I want to make some um, changes in uh, in the way uh, I see things are run. There's too much separation in our city, and I want to see more unity. So my goal is is to get um, we're here for the people to get people involved and um, um, work together as a team, not separation. That's my main goal. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, fellas.